The next feature that I want to develop for turrets is the option to be able to upgrade them. So far, when we've created the turrets, I've manually defined the range and the cooldown variables, but I actually want these to change depending on the turret's level. I have this file here, turretdata.py, and in here I've pre-populated the different levels of turret. So at level 1, the range is 90 and the cooldown is 1500, just like we've got here entered manually. And as the level goes up, the range increases and the cooldown decreases. The structure of this is that we have the turret data list and that contains a bunch of dictionary entries inside it. So now, instead of manually defining these values here, we can use that data. We'll begin by importing it here at the top. I will say from turret underscore data import turret data. And this is all in caps. So I'm going into this file here and I'm importing this variable turret data. Just like the other files that we're importing, you need to make sure that that file is here in the same folder as all the rest of them. Now inside the constructor, I can create a new variable called self.upgrade underscore level, and I will set this to 1. This means that when the turret is first created, it begins at level 1, and then we can upgrade it from there. Now we can replace this range and cooldown variables. We're going to instead access that turret data list, and we're going to go to the index value that corresponds to this upgrade level. So if the upgrade level or the initial level of the turret is level 1, then we want this data here. But within the list, because the index starts at 0, level 1 is actually index 0, level 2 is index 1, and so on. So what we do here in the index value is we pass in self.upgrade level minus 1. And that's going to give us the corresponding dictionary but we want to extract the range, or rather we want to extract the value that's associated with the key of range. And when working with dictionaries, all we need to do here is just add dot get and then pass the name of the key, which is range. I can then copy this and use the exact same syntax for the cooldown, except I just replace the final bit here with cooldown. To test this out, let's go into this data and just increase the range to something silly. So we'll put it to 290. And then when I go here and run the game, I'm going to put down a turret and then I'll click on it. Now you can see the range is absolutely enormous. So this will give us an easy way to change the variables of different turret types. We'll set this back to 90 and then we can start having a look at how to actually work through these upgrade levels. To do this, we're going to create a new method. So I'll go all the way down here, and just above my draw method, I will define a new method, which will be called upgrade. And then we'll pass the variable of self. And the first thing this method is going to do is take that upgrade level variable and increase it by one. Once that happens, I need to make sure that I extract the correct data for that turret. So we've now gone on to the next level, so I need to replace my range in cooldown. We're already doing that in the constructor. So I can actually just copy this and paste it back down inside that upgrade method. So we'll come down here and once we've completed that upgrade, we paste this in and now the range and the cooldown are going to be taken again from that list. But now because we've increased this variable, it's going to go into the next index value. In addition to this, we're going to have to recreate that range circle. So if we go up here, the circle was initially created based on the range that we had at that time. So we now need to recreate this. I can copy this entire section, put it down into the upgrade method. And I'm just going to change the comment here. So now it's going to be upgrade range circle. But the rest of the code stays exactly the same. We're going to recreate all of it, but now because we have a new range, all the sizes are going to change. And now we need a way of calling this upgrade method. And we're going to do this with a button. So first of all, we need to load in an additional image for the button. I'm going to copy down this cancel button image, and I'm just going to replace it with the upgrade underscore turret image. And then we change the file name to upgrade underscore turret. Next, we use that image to create a button. Now I've got a section down here where I'm creating buttons already. So again, I'm just going to copy down the cancel button, and I will change this to upgrade and I'll just tweak the dimensions a little bit so it's going to be plus 5 180 and then the image changes to the upgrade underscore turret 
image. And now that the button is created, we need to show it somewhere. So we'll go down into the game loop and there's a section here where we're drawing the buttons. And now we have to think about when it is that we actually want to show this upgrade button. Well, the only time we want to show it is if a turret has been selected. So I'm going to come out here and add a comment to say, if a turret is selected, then show the upgrade button. And to check whether a turret is selected, we have a variable. So I can just say if selected underscore turret. So if we have one, then we can run this piece of code. But if there's nothing selected, then that variable is set to none. So this piece of code will be skipped. So we want to draw the upgrade button. We'll say upgrade underscore button dot draw onto the screen. But to actually take input from it, I need to add an if statement at the back, because this means that whenever the button is clicked, this will return a true value. So if the upgrade button has been clicked, then we want to take that selected turret and we want to run the upgrade method on it. Now let's try this out and see if it works. So I'm going to drop a turret down here, I'll click on it, and then I'll upgrade it. And there you go. You can see that the range increased straight away. Click it again, it goes up again one more time. Now this should be as far as I can go because we only had four levels. So what happens if I create again? Well, we get an error because we try to access a level that doesn't exist. I need to know how many times a turret can be upgraded. So I could take the length of that turret data list and use that. But instead, I'm just going to create a variable in here. And I will say turret underscore levels and set that to four. Now back in my main file, I can add an additional check here with a comment first to say, if a turret can be upgraded, then show the upgrade button. And this check just looks at the current level. So we'll say if selected turret dot upgrade underscore level is less than C dot turret levels, i.e. there's still availability for it to be upgraded, then we can run this piece of code. So if we check this again, and I'll put down a turret here, I click on it, I upgrade it three times, and then the upgrade button disappears. So it's not possible to keep upgrading, and we now avoid that error. Now the upgrade is working pretty well, and we can see that as we upgrade, the range increases. But the turret image itself doesn't change. Now if we go into the assets and images down to turrets, you'll see that I have four different turret images. So all of these came in the sprite pack. What I actually want to do is use all four of them and use them as the different levels of the turret. And there's a few steps to implementing this. First of all, we need to make sure that we import all of those images. So we'll go back up here where we're loading in the sprite sheets for the turrets. And at the moment, I'm only actually loading in one of them. So I'm going to load in all and I'm going to put them inside a list. I will say turret underscore sprite sheets is equal to an empty list. Then I will use a for loop and I'll say for x in range. So if we have a look at the image names, they're turret one, two, three, four. So I want to start at one and then I want to end at the maximum level that the turrets can reach. So that variable is already defined here. It's number four. So we can only have four levels of turrets. So I'm going to call in C dot turret levels. But whenever you use range in a for loop, it actually goes up to, but not including this second variable. So it's going to go up between one and three. So I need to add a plus one at the end. And now once I'm in the for loop, I can start loading in each of the turret spreadsheets one by one. But I need to change this variable here. So I need it to go one through to four using this x variable here. So we can delete this and wrap it in curly brackets. And inside there, we can put that variable x. Then right at the beginning, before this quotation mark, we'll put in an f. This will use Python's string formatting. So what it does is it takes this variable and then it inserts it inside the string wherever we put these curly brackets. Then once the image is loaded, we want to add it into that sprite sheet. So we'll say turret sprite sheets dot append turret sheet. Now when we go down into our function that creates turrets, there's a section here where we create a new turret using the turret class. But at the moment we're passing in the individual sprite sheet. So now we actually need to pass in that entire list, which will be turret underscore sprite sheets. Then to match that, we go into the turret class. And now it's not going to be a sprite sheet anymore. It's going to be plural sprite sheets. Now I'll need to make sure that I catch this change everywhere. 
So down here in the animation variables, self.sprite sheets is equal to sprite sheets. So we just add the S to make it plural. And then we have this load images method. And if we go down and have a look at it, we're actually going to have to make a bit of a change here because this takes an individual sprite sheet and it works out the size from it and so on. But we can't really work with this anymore because if I change this to plural, well, that becomes a list. We can't take a size of from list. So we need to pass it in as an argument. We need to pick an individual sprite sheet and pass it into this method. And that argument is going to be sprite underscore sheet. Then we can do away with this self in here and in here, because now it's just dealing with the individual sprite sheet that gets added in or rather gets passed in as an argument. This method will work just as it did before, but of course now we need to add in this additional argument when I call the method. So we go back up here and I can't leave this as an empty bracket anymore. I need to pass in a sprite sheet. So I go into my self.spritesheets list and from there I need to access the index of the current upgrade level. We'll say self.upgrade level and then it's minus one because the index always begins at zero. So for level one, the index of the sprite sheet will be index zero. Before we go too much further, I just want to test this and see if it still works. We might run into some errors here. Okay, no, it seems to be fine. So I'm still not going to be able to upgrade the images, but at least we're loading the images itself from the original sprite sheet correctly. So now we can have a look at upgrading or changing the images as well as the upgrade. Well, let's take a look at the upgrade method again, just to remind ourselves what needs to be done. So here we increase the upgrade level. Well, that means that we now need to load the images of the next level of sprite sheet. So we need to call this method and I can just copy this down rather than typing it all out again. So I need to load in or update my animation list because now it's going to be using the next turret level. So we'll go and paste this down into the upgrade method just here. I'll add a comment, which is upgrade turret image leave a little bit of space and I'll paste that line in here. And once that's done, I need to update my image as well. So I'll say self.original image is taken from the animation list, which is now the new animation list at the frame index that we were on. Now let's go back over and test this out again. And this time if I place down, let's say four turrets, I can try upgrading them to different levels. So you can see as soon as I click upgrade, it changes to a different image. And if I grade them all at different degrees, you can see that's a level one turret, level two, level three, and level four.